another gorgeous day and another day of dose of did you know we're intriguing inspiring unique individuals come to talk about love and life and how we brought them to where they are today i'm your host danny rocco and with me finally i'm so excited mr mark how are you i'm fabulous thank you for the absolute awesome opportunity to come on and speak with you oh i am super duper excited and you know what i love i love is that when you have people in your life when you have these moments you're like these like burnt moments these blonde moments these like moments of like eh, things aren't working out like i have planned they're just like eh, no worries i got you we can do this those are those are good people you're one of those good people well, you know what? You could either uh, die by the sword or live by the sword. And you, here's the deal: if you if you die and you, you don't figure it out, then you're just sitting behind everyone else. So you got to move forward. That is the truth. So before we get like down and dirty and start our conversation, tell the world a little bit about who Mark is. Absolutely, Mark Peterson. Uh, I live in Minnesota. I'm actually a school teacher, but I did serve in the Army for 14 years. I served on our local fire department for about 10 years. Um, I've got two. Um, well, I've got a son down at Fort Riley, and I've got a daughter who's taking her medical school at my kitchen table right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's who I am. And you have a little thing called the People's Patriot Project. I mean, just a little thing that you do. When it's a time. tiny thing. It is a little tiny thing that you say spare time. Um, it's because of the People's Patriot Project. We have figured out how to shove 50 pounds of poo into a five-pound bag. Uh, awesome. But we do. We have the People's Patriot Project. That's uh, We have a flagship mission that is going to be set up to create facilities that is a one-stop shop for our veterans and our first responders. Um, like, it's a place where they mean? can bring. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so le let me tell you what the, the generation of the thought was. Uh, when I was a firefighter, um, we were finding, or I was finding, that a lot of the fire departments and the firefighters were giving all their personal resources to accommodate the fire department, their community. They were paying their own personal money for training. They were paying their own personal money for um, equipment for both uh, PPE and for the, the fire department in general, uh, status and apparatus. And um, at the end of the day, you know, they didn't have anything. They don't have two pennies to rub together. And I, I saw a need at that time that we need to find a facility or a place where firefighters can take themselves and their families and come meet together at, we called it back then 13 star accommodations because of space force. We had to throw another star on there for 14 star accommodations. But bottom line is it's a place where they can put their feet up and not have to worry about a thing. Um, you know, based on some levels, there's a matrix that is involved with how much uh, sweat equity you put into it, how much uh, financial resources you put into it. Uh, but there's a place for you and your family to go. And if you're a high need family that, low income, have served in the military, have served as a first responder, uh, uh, blue, or blue star, not blue star, but uh, gold star families and um, purple heart families, um, we will take care of you. Um, that is a piece. Our real name is called We the People, the People's Patriot Project. I innately believe that we have amazing people in this country and people that believe that their freedoms were bought and paid for by those who have served. Less than 11% of our, our country have picked up the, the cross, so to speak, and, and moved forward in, in a way that's serving the rest of the community. And I believe in serving those people as well. So, mm. Well, there you go. That was like you're doing your dude, your dude, your deeds. And that's, that's kind of what I love. Like you saw an issue and you created something to help it right like on your part like the service heart never dies in some of us i don't want to say in yeah. all of us but in some of us and then you just kind of picked up this new thing of a radio station channel yeah. and 
Okay. I think it's very cool. I feel it's very unique because I'm not sure if there's another one out there that is all veteran all the time. Because this is what I also feel. I got a lot of this is what I think today. I think you're bringing out a lot of um, some inside inside Dannyisms today is that a lot Good. of people start off with a great mission and a great purpose but then they realize that when it like let's say you're a veteran niche you know first responder thing it's hard it's hard people really don't give to flying poopies when it comes down to it when you ask them to help or put their money where their mouth is they're like this is great and i like they give that um what do i always kind of refer it to as people that say they're christians but because they read the bible or go to church but they follow zero of the actual biblical laws like right like, you don't lie well you just freaking lied you know like all of these things and i feel like there's a lot of that so but your station is true and holding of all veteran kind of musicians talk about it because i don't want to like totally absolutely um, so a year ago march the second week of march we had this weird phenomenon going on in our country and we created um what we called a virtual happy hour um i did not ever want to be in the podcast business but we created a uh, a virtual vlog on Facebook called uh, We Got Your Six at Six Patriot Playtime. We kept doing it. People liked it. We kept doing it. We started getting a huge following. Um, we started bringing on boots on the ground organizations that can tell other veterans about what their mission is. People said, Mark Peterson, you're crazy. This takes away from your mission. I said, no, it doesn't. This adds to our mission. And how is that? I go, because when I am having the down and outs and someone over on the other side of the country reaches out to me and says, hey, I'm sitting on my bed. I'm having some stinking thinking. I can't reach out to him. I'm in Minnesota, but I've got a guy in Kansas. I've got a guy in Kentucky. I got a guy in Georgia. I got a guy in Alabama. I've got a guy in California and gals. And we have made this amazing network. I know you wanted me to talk about the radio station, but this is how we get to the radio station. It's coming. It's coming along. It's coming. Okay. It's coming. So we created this entertainment show called We Got You Six at Six, Patriot Playtime, every Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, where we bring on a veteran and first responder musician to share their craft. I'm going to be honest, Danny. I had no idea what amazing talent is out there. You and I met Chris Turner down in Nashville. Uh, that's mm -hmm. when we, you and I met. The guy is a rock star. I have no idea why he is not on everyday aired radio. But yeah. guess what? There was a need. There's a method. There's a process. We put together WP3 Radio. It plays exclusive veteran first responder and what we call patriot player musicians. Those that honor the country that we're living in and honor the people that serve it. And we've got, it's, I, I got, I say goosebumps a lot more now because every time I turn around, something amazing is happening and I get these chill bumps all the time. And I'm like, and I might cry now and then too. It's just been, a, it's an amazing ride, man. I mean, I'm loving everything that we're doing and people are loving. And th there might be some big news involving this radio station coming up. I love that. I news. might, I might have a contract sitting in my email right now about some of my favorite podcasters. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> there might be because maybe just one of them has a very anal co-host that I love with all my that is love. It's just give me a secret that is love with so much heart because you need that when you're when you have a personality like this, right? You got to have both. It keeps um, the straight keeps it by the straight air, but. That's what's so cool. I love that I can pop on the radio station and hear all my favorite people like um, Tony Turner, who's turning in right now. He's on there. And like you said, Chris Turner's on there. And Andrew Farr just snapped in. He's like, he swears he'll be on your show one of these days. LOL. That guy, I, he, does he not, the Energizer Bunny of that world. 
Yeah. He's got a big, big, big place in my heart. I want to show, is there, actually, while we're talking in the next, like, um, five minutes or so, so if a good song comes up or something like that on the radio, let's pop over and share with everybody. So just interrupt. I will. Interrupt this blabbing that goes on. So I have to ask, like, you've got all this stuff. And when you said Goosebumps, it was so funny because Goosebumps kind of came all over me. And then you said the words, and I'm like, ooh, do 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 do. Um, but are there times when you yourself, or are you just on a high right now, when you yourself are questioning, like, is this the right thing that was put on my heart? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? I mean, probably now because you're in this like forward motion, it's it's hard to recognize, but that happens. So- I have an amazing team. Um, the the crew that works for the People's Patriot Project does just a phenomenal job. Um, they let me go and, and play. It's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of work. Um, we don't take average sleep times right now because it is just what it is. But, you know, someone asked me recently, when do you get a rest? I get a rest when... Two weeks ago, I was down in Georgia with Feeding the Heroes Foundation and Adam Jones and Matt Strand and uh, Mr. Gaddy, and they fed 400-plus uh, first responders on the ground while Bobby Henline is standing there, Tony Turner is standing there, and all these notables from across the country are standing there following the mission, following a piece that says, you know what, we are going to bring them all home. We're going to go get our brothers and sisters it, what we've been doing hasn't been working, but I'm telling you, man, it's like the apocalypse. I'm gonna. This may be a morbid thought, but it's like the apocalypse. We are, we've got a team of people that are on these Clyde cells, not even little tiny horses. We are coming to get you, brothers and sisters. Give me a minute, and we will find you, and we will help take care of you. And you know what? If you hear this message, reach out to us. Our stuff is everywhere. Uh, the People's Patriot Project. I gave all my links to Danny. She's. She'll uh, get them posted wherever they need to be posted. And and if she doesn't, then I'll just kind of hack her account and do that on Facebook anyway. And uh, it's it's so fun when these lives come up because, again, we've got a podcast world that is unbelievable as well with veteran first responder podcasters. And I'll get on and I'll just start listening to them. And I'll start every time there's a connection. I'll just, you know, hyperlink the, the connection in there for them and help them continue with their podcasts and this is amazing, Danny. I love I love meeting you. I love meeting all of you. I mean, it was just it's I Travis, Oscar yes, Mike, it's yes. oh, that's fine. Travis just popped in. It's the way the world needs to go in so many. I feel like it was a rarity, and it might still be a rarity, but I feel like or maybe it's my hope and my faith and my love, Travis. I gotta throw that out there, my love. Uh because he's listening and I know I give him crap all the time about love is that people will collaborate. They will find that their world does not revolve just around the flesh and bones that they happen to be, you know, within the feet of themselves. If you do not collaborate and share what you have and receive what others have, you will just be digging yourself a hole. No one will ever replace you. No one can ever duplicate you. And when people try to, they'll either morph into what they are supposed to be or they will fail. So you never have to worry about, I feel like you never have to worry about competition. You're either going to be a stepping stone into their greatness or their. You're back. Okay. That's We're your imagination heart. <laughs> you know, so that is a piece if I it's it's a piece of the mission because you know there was a while ago where um I, I think I read a a meme that said, you know what, you work forty to eighty hours a week on a job that if you quit tomorrow or didn't show up tomorrow, they would replace in a day. And I go, that is such an amazing concept. But now put that in the, the realms and the lights and the eyes of what our veterans and first responders do. Not everyone can do what they do. Not everyone can hold the hand of someone taking their last breath. Not yeah. everyone is running into the fires. 
not everyone can is signing. Six percent of our country signs up to be part of the military services. Six percent is protecting ninety four percent of the rest of our country. Okay, not everyone is going to do that. So when we lose those brothers and sisters, we lose an asset. Now on top of that, when we've got our brothers and sisters that are we're losing because of PTSD, we also start forgetting the ones before them as well. So we always make this statement. You know what? We have a vigil on the 22nd of every month to remember those that are still here because without them, we don't get to remember the ones that aren't. And that is an essential piece of why we need to do what we're doing. So we can remember the amazing things because these are the people doing amazing things. They really are. Yeah. Oh, I love all of that. And I love that every month you do that visual. That's very cool because you do forget. We think of one side of it. We think the ones that have passed. We don't necessarily think about the ones that are here, the ones that came before all of that. So having that connection is um, is really, really is powerful. It's it's it a power that's part of makes part of the mission. Um, I think even stand out even more. I do because the show is coming to a close. I do want to. Um, yeah. Ring. I know it goes fast, right? I do want to kick, pull up the station here. Right now, we got a little Whiskey Myers playing. I love it. So, real quick, um, when you let me just remove that so I can hear you now. I love the graphics. I'm going to be totally be a girl for a second. I just love like the power and the green against the black and we, the people. You want me to share that story with you? Oh uh, yeah. Real quick. And I know we're running out of time, but it's an oxymoron. There's a black camouflage that's pixelated. Each pixel is a person. You are going to see us mental health awareness right now, but you're going to see us. We, the people We're every time you walk down the aisles of the grocery store, we're done with uh Hey, Celebrate those people that are serving the community. Celebrate those people that run into the fire when you call 911. I got another saying, but I'll leave it clean and off your air right now. But <laughs> Okay. That'll be for in person the next time I see you. You can tell me. Absolutely. For sure. One, maybe ten. I don't know however many sayings you have. I want them all. I want them all. I'm greedy. Sometimes I'm greedy in here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Mark, before, well, a couple things. Where can they find listen to the radio station? How does that? Absolutely. You can go to, it is uh, HTTPS or www.blastfmsocial.media dot or slash WP Radio. And actually, there's a three missing there. So we'll get that fixed. Uh, it's WP3 <laughs> Radio. I yeah. know. I don't know why. You know, it's the computer. It like, yeah. It's technology, it man. It's all good. You can go to any of our uh, Facebook pages, the, the group. There is a WP3 Radio page. Uh, there's also We Got Your Six page. And there's also groups. And so reach out to Mark Peterson. You'll see our green everywhere. Uh, and tag onto it. Yeah, yeah, and I'll put the link to the radio station once I get it. I'll edit this post and stick it right in there so people can just, like, click and go and actually just click and Absolutely. go also to your website. Easy. Make things easy. But, Mark, before I let you go, I ask that you answer this question. The first thing that pops into your little brain – I shouldn't say little. That's a terrible – that sounded awful. Your big, amazing brain and big, amazing heart. In this moment right now, Mark, what does love mean to you? That's a crazy question because I've watched your show before, so it doesn't just pop in my head. I'm like, I'm prepared for this. Um, you know, we've got an amazing brother named Tony Turner, and we actually had this conversation direct, direct, face to face, and said, what does love mean? Love is a word that I don't really like anymore. Uh, people have used it and abused it. So how do we let our veterans and first responders know we love them? We just say, with you, brother, or with you, sister, we are with you. Um, that is a bigger thing for us, but it tells them that we are fully with them all the time. We're willing to build a relationship. We're willing to be in their lives. We're willing to, to carry their load and help lighten their load. Um, mm -hmm. Bottom line is love is an investment. Love is giving all and everything. And uh, we, we use with you now. So 
I love that. I love that because it's action. I always say with love, I think love has multiple levels. I think it means different things to different people. You can't put your love on somebody else. You, you know, um, but it's action behind it all. There is movement. So whatever that looks like. And to me, that's just like what you were saying, like that, that with you is like, yeah, we're here side by side, linked arms together, there's action, there's momentum. Um, and that shows in your day to day world. So thank you. It's too easy. Thank you. And to everybody else out there, remember as always, you have to love hard, love pure and love proactive. And until next time, we will see you. Take care. Pitch your pride. Thank you.